Welcome back. It is freezing this month, so what <laughs> we want more than anything else is a warm hug for our bellies. Tara Walker from East Coast Cookery School has heard our pleas and is coming to the rescue with an yeah. Italian stew called chicken cacciatore. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's beautiful. It's a, it's a hunter's stew. So traditionally in Italy, you'll probably be eaten more with like games. So it might be um, wild boar or something along those lines. I'm going with chicken. I think it's probably Delighted more user friendly. That right after the I love yesterday. that hugging the oh your kangaroo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, dear. so it's more user friendly, I suppose. She's in that regard. Back now she's better today. <laughs> You're welcome. Bounce back. Um, um, so chicken on yeah. browning. Exactly. I actually like that description. A hug for a warm hug for our yeah, belly. It's is, actually it? exactly what it is. So I was just going to show you. What I like to do is use a little bit of both chicken thigh and chicken fillet. Okay. So uh, beef, uh, sorry, breast fillet. So I have the thighs here browning. So it's really important to make sure that your pan is on a good sizzle. That you hear a sizzle when you put the chicken in. And a lot of oil, Tara. A fair bit. I've okay. got rapeseed oil because high burning point. But any oil that has a high burning point is fine. So that's the breast meat and that's the thigh meat there. So just keep them separate. So all you're looking to do, I don't know if you can see that on camera, is just brown it off, get it nice mm -hmm. and golden on the outside. You're sealing in all those nice juices as Lovely. well. And you're getting a nice kind of flavour with the caramelisation on the outside. Probably a stupid question. Why would you keep them separate if it's all because, raw meat going good, No, it isn't a stupid question, actually. I was going to say that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add the thigh straight into the stew. And then after about half an hour of cooking, we're going to add the breast meat in then. Okay. So what we're looking for here is the thigh has great flavour. The sauce kind of matures with the thigh in it mm. as the thigh is sort of cooking down and becoming nice and tender. Um, whereas if you just use breast meat, you know, the sauce doesn't get time to mature yeah. or else the breast meat gets dry. So you don't want to do that. I obviously. use chicken thighs all the time, particularly yeah. in like curries and korma. Absolutely, yeah. 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 Cooking on the bone, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Just has so much flavour to it. Actually, originally in this recipe, I used to have it where it was um, on the bone. On the bone, yeah. But then you have to take the meat out, take it off the bone. Strip so it's it. a little bit yeah, of a faff. Yeah. So yeah. I just said we'll sim simplify here. And we're faffless on the show, <laughs> yes. aren't we? So chicken thighs and chicken Absolutely. breast meat together. Lovely. Exactly. So that. now I've just uh, got my oil there with the, you know, the little caramelised bits in there. Beautiful. Some onion. Going to caramelise that. Those caramelised bits are gold down yeah, there. Yeah, exactly, aren't they? exactly. So a little bit of salt just slows down the caramelisation of the onion. I always say that. Mm -hmm. Just makes sure that you get that lovely rich unctuousness. Lovely. Now obviously we're limited for time today, but normally I would give this at least ten minutes yeah. with the lid on, sweating away. Once it's nearly done, and this is a good little trick as well. A lot of recipes tell you to sweat off your onion and garlic together. It's obviously oh, wrong. It's because, the yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. The garlic will be burnt and the onion will still be. So wait until your onion's pretty much done yeah. and then add your garlic in. Okay. So I'm doing that now because we just don't have much time. Another but the great one tip I have. Though. Yeah. And then we're also adding in some nice peppers. Lovely. And is this for have... medium heat, Tara? Sorry? Medium heat for this? Yeah, about a medium heat on this. Like there's obviously a bit of residual heat from doing the chicken on a high no. heat there. So you know what I've started using a lot, Tara. Yeah. I wonder could you use it there as the jarred, the roasted red peppers. You could, you could definitely. Lovely. Yeah, I'm actually They're not beautiful. mad about the flavour on them personally, I but I know lots of other All people right. do, so it would be a very handy little yeah, yeah. shortcut. So now I have tomato puree going in. I'm also caramelising the tomato puree. Oh, these bad now, boys. Now, next up, anchovies. a little anchovy. Now, we're not going to taste the anchovy. We're just going to get a lovely depth of flavour from the anchovy. Yeah. Okay. It's going to just melt away with the lovely caramelised bits. You won't even know it's there. People are afraid of using that because they I think know. you get a fishy kind of flavour of the stew. Absolutely. It's, they it's, just, it's a seasoning. They just melt yeah. away, as you say, Tara. We had, um, the, we had a class called A Taste of Italy um, in the cookery school over the weekend. And there was a lady and she was like, I just don't like anchovies. But yeah. she couldn't taste couldn't it. Taste she didn't know. Like, yeah. she agreed to try. Um, Good so honor. I didn't trick her, put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so next up, I have a few olives. Optional again, if you don't want it, you don't have to. These are lovely calamari olives. olives. Like yeah. olives. I don't like them. Oh, I love them. So for so. me, they don't go up. No. <laughs> Extra for me. Love it. Now, a little bit of stock, just some chicken stock. Beautiful. And then we have our chicken going back in. So I'm just putting the thighs in at the moment and I'm going to save the breast meat for later on. Okay. okay. So I'll pop it into the oven with the thighs for about half an hour. And can you buy them like that, Tara, or do you ask your butcher to bone them? I ask my butcher to yeah. do it, yes. Okay. Shoots okay. in Drogheda on Lawrence Street. They're very, very, good. very friendly and helpful because it's not that easy a job for <laughs> them to do. As most butchers are, yes, they're great. absolutely. So I just give them a little mention. And then last but not least, my tin of tomatoes. Now, yeah. and we were talking yes. about that earlier on, my what caught her eye story was about the fact that Ireland uses a lot of tinned fruits yeah. and vegetables. Yeah, yeah. I think we're all, we all use tinned tomatoes, don't yeah. we? Oh, yeah. Well, look, in Always Ireland, in we don't darker. have the weather for no. those beautiful, big, bursting with sweetness tomatoes yeah. that they have in, 
you know, in Spain and Italy and places like that. So I think tinned tomatoes, and they're apparently better for you than really? fresh tomatoes. Yes, so I have no oh. problem with that. Okay. I suppose the likes, of, the likes of, like, tinned peaches and stuff like that, I would prefer fresh. But again, like, we don't have the climate to be growing lovely fresh peaches. Yeah, so yeah, if, if it gets you eating your five a day, why not? Why not? Absolutely, yeah, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Yeah. And great for desserts because they have the syrup. Average, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So a bit of herbage. Yeah, a little bit of rosemary. Okay, and we're just going to pop that into the oven for about half an hour. Nice. That's just with the thighs. And after half an hour, hour do exactly. you take it back out? Yeah, we're going to pop this the... Um, no, no, not taking it back out. Just popping the chicken fillet in, the breast fillet. Okay. Yeah. So we leave that for a moment. And then I just want to show you the potato that we're going to serve oh, this with. Oh, baby, baby, So, baby. look at mashed This is just some oh mashed potato. Yeah, this is very addictive, I have to say. Now, I'm popping some Parmesan cheese in. Lovely. Just to kind of make it a little bit more indulgent. I'm interested to see, do you use cooking cream, fresh cream, or creme fraiche? Well, or none it, of the none above, of the, actually. The Option above. C, <laughs> we huh? have sour cream for this. Yeah. A little oh. bit of sour cream is mm -hmm. nice with the Parmesan. It just kind of oh. gives a nice counterbalance to it. So let's get all of that in. Oh, Lovely. Next up, a bit of Jehovah. chili oil. Oh, very nice. Really? A bit yes. of chili oil? Absolutely. Yeah, and last banana. but not least, look at this. This is a gorgeous. This is what makes the difference oh, to me. The this is a roast bulb of garlic. I just popped it into the oven covered for about an hour. And when you squeeze the clove out, oh, if we've time, I'll show you. Just a puree. Look just at that. Just squeeze out through here. Look at roasted garlic. There we go. Garlic. OK. There's, oh. and there's a nicer smell in the world. Roasted oh my garlic. God. Maybe lemons. Pop that in. No, I'll go with garlic. Would you? Yeah. Coffee, and stir garlic, that lemon. through. And I just see my glass of wine sitting here. That was supposed to be going to the uh, chicken cacciatore. Ah, well, not to worry, to. though. We not to worry, because it's actually in the one that I made earlier. Of course ah, it is. So, oh, look at that Let's mash. grab this out. And obviously, if you're feeding this to kids anyway, the wine will have evaporated. Oh, yeah, so absolutely. Like, it's only it. a small, relatively small amount of wine sure. for the amount of uh, stew we've got here. So, what a lovely serving dish as well. Just being your here. sous chef here, chef. Thank you very much, you're Simon. You're very welcome. I think you're just have your eye on it. You're <laughs> yeah, of, I do. Yeah, you're taking ownership I'm of it. That's what I'm marking my yes. territory. That's for me. <laughs> Tara, you made it look yeah. so easy. And Good. if you can omit the ingredients, like you don't like the olives, well, yeah, or that yeah. I didn't yeah. like the anchovies, well, not the taste. Absolutely. But absolutely could become oh, a family favourite. Oh yeah, God. absolutely. So let's serve up with this gorgeous yeah. mash. And I for the mash either. then I have... The mash is just going to be... Mm. Here is our Do you like olives out of the oven. I love olives. Yeah. Green olives. By the way, uh, Tara brought in some beautiful homemade chocolate and banana oh, bread. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> delicious. Little, uh, yes. A mousse bouge before we have our yeah, chicken. Yeah, we must make those on the show next time. <laughs> so here we go. Look, our chicken, With our olives. That's the chicken breast. So just a couple of half of an hour um, chicken thighs first and then chicken yes. breast. Yes, and that's the breast just gone in for the last 10 minutes. Do you cook with it's chicken thighs? time to taste. Uh, not enough. No, no, I don't either. No. Simon does all the I time, I just heard said. Parmesan mash on my menu. I know, yeah, yeah. You floated your way in. <laughs> right, go, no, go for it, Louis, go for it. I want to try these thighs. Oh, it's, the meat is so tender. Yeah, Gosh. and that's the thigh. I mean, the reason I've put the breast meat in is just some people, like even out of a group of kind of 20 the other night at the cookery school, we had three or four people who just like the white breast meat. It's not my personal favourite, mm. but it's quite nice for people who only like the breast meat to put a little bit in as well. Gorgeous. It's not essential, though. I just love the olives in there as well. Beautiful. Yeah. What's the verdict on the mash, guys? Mm. Oh, it's delicious. Good. So <laughs> creamy yeah. and real comfort food, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Get the garlic from and it. by the way, I think I mentioned it earlier, but you know, pop it into the mm. freezer and make a batch of it. Mm. <laughs> oh, great. Even yeah. Better. Yeah. Tara, thanks so much for today. And don't Most forget, welcome. today's recipe is up on our website. You can check out oh. Tara's book, Good Food, No Stress, as well, for more delicious recipes. I can't speak. Anna. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> Coming up next, consumer advice you need to know. See you in a couple of minutes. Thanks, Tara. <laughs>